if you want to say hi and head to Ben and stuff. Alright, I Patchy. Bye, Patchy. Have a nice night. Okay. I'm ready to give Crossbow another once over. Also, you may or may not hear a fan in the background because it is getting hot and stuffy in my room. So, give me a moment. Or, it's not giving me a moment, sorry. Uh, hope you guys don't mind, I mean. But I'm just gonna give Crossbow another quick once over. Maybe you check if a hidden quest pops up. Or if an NPC gets, or if a random NPC gets relocated somewhere. Uh, nothing really different here. I would like to assume it's safe, but knowing this game, you can never be too sure. Shalom. Can't go because we don't have a uh, fishing rod. Uh, maybe there's nothing really different around here. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to look up a non-spoiler guy. <laughs> oh, my, my paranoia is... My paranoia is really getting to me right now. Because I'm still haunted by the fact that, like... In Trail second chapter, there are 516 treasure chests in the entire game. Right? I got 510 out of 516. I'm still bitter about that. I, will, I'll, I don't think I'll ever go back unless I'm just dying to replay the lit, the Trail series again. But dear God, that that still hurts, you know. It that still hurts. Ah. Yeah, I don't think really much has changed. Well then, what does everyone want to do? If we're going to the police academy, we can go by bus or foot. I'm fine with either, but I haven't been in the field for a while, so I wouldn't mind getting some exercise. Don't forget that we still have that wanted monster to, to deal with on the highway. Since we're here, we, uh, maybe we should take care of it as we walk to the academy. Are you serious? Walking that far uh, sounds like it'd be a real pain. 
Oh, come on, you're too young to be saying stuff like that. You spend too much time drinking and partying in the city anyway. Some fresh air do you good, Wazzy. I never understood what these people uh, love so much about fresh air. But whatever. If I get tired, our kind leader will just carry me in his loving arms. He will not. <laughs> Five foot it is, then. Let's be careful and keep an eye out for that wanted monster. Roger that. Oh yeah, wait. I should kind of swap it around like that. Yeah. Oh, you can tell what direction they're facing too. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm too paranoid. <laughs> I'm way too paranoid. I, I want to see the. I want to see the non-spoiler guide for the next game. Oh, uh, who was the guy that made the guide that I looked at? Uh, I think it was. Okay, by this guy. Did he make one for Aono Kiseki? No, he didn't. But there's a different guy that made a spoiler-free walkthrough. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, there's some events here. Hold on. Uh... Oh, wait. Did I not... Hold on. Wait, wait. I, I don't think I ever visited Main's Mountain Path. Did I? I think I might have missed something. Alright, can we go in here? Yeah. Uh, I don't think... Did I ever... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll thank the guide for this. My, Lloyd and Ellie. I'm glad you came. It's good to see you again, uh, Sister Marble. It's been a long time. Wait, are you not surprised to see us? Not at all. Kia uh, couldn't wait to tell him the good news. I believe her exact words were, Lloyd is coming home. If I'm not mistaken, you were also Lloyd and Ellie's Sunday school teacher, right? That's right. And you two must be the newest members of the SSS. My name is Marble, a sister of the Sepian Church. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Oh, that's right. I hadn't thought about it, but you didn't, or you didn't study under Sister Marble, did you, Noel? The E Street class Fran and I attended was held by a priest. I'm not sure what happened to him, but I don't think he's in Crossbell anymore. Well, it's not uncommon for the church to keep a revolving door. Yes, in that sense, it's fortunate that uh, I've been here since Ellie, uh, Lloyd and Ellie's time in Sunday school. Sister Marble, what about the lesson? Ryu, it's, in it's rude to interrupt people when they're catching up. Oh my, I think we got wrapped up in a conversation that I forgot about the class. I'm sorry, I should continue the lesson. Please come visit again in the future. Oh no, we should apologize, it's our fault for interrupting class. Please excuse us then. <laughs> uh, studying is such a pain in the butt. Hey Loy, can I put a support request to ask the SSS to study for me? That's not how it works for you and... This is for your own good. You should take it more seriously. Psh, you sound like my old man. Come on, Ryu, at least try. And this way, you're never going to catch up with Kia. Shut up, I know that already. Hamel thinks he can impress Kia by showing, uh, showing what, or how well behaved he can be. <laughs> As if. I'd rather be playing outside than studying. Ah, uh, Kia is so cute. I'm glad I got to study with her today. I bet it'll impress her if I raise my hand to answer a bunch of questions in class. Oh my god. Hey, Pansy. How you been? 
Oh, you're Wendy's old friend, right? It's been a while. Thanks for all the police stuff you do, I guess. Wendy? Isn't she the... Yes, the engineer at the Oval Store we met earlier. She and Lloyd are old friends. Yep, that gearhead happens to be my oldest sister. Uh, what a way to describe her. But really though, tell them I'm right, Lloyd. She's not wrong. It's all because Dad got to her when she was a kid. That's how she became a gearhead, just like him. Ain't gonna be me, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, uh... Hey, Kia. What am I supposed to do when I get to this part? Let's see, to calculate this one, you need to... Looks like they're getting along well. Oh, hi guys! Here for a parent-teacher conference? Oh no, that's not it. We just thought we'd check in. Are you studying your hardest, Kia? You betcha! I've been studying really hard with Ryu and Henri. Teaching them is lots of fun. <laughs> is that so? Hmm, Kia doesn't seem to have any trouble fitting in. We were worried about sending her to school at first, but honestly it was the best decision we could have made. Keep doing your best, Kia. Yep, and you all do your best at work at- er- Excuse me. You all do your best at work too, okay Lloyd? I really like coming to Sunday school. It's fun getting to study so many different things. And I enjoy getting to spend time with Ryu, Henri, and the others. Aww. Wait. I heard a new sister is scheduled to arrive today straight from the holy city- <gasps> Reese! Reese! Yo! Or wait, uh, she was from- she was from Arteria, right? I, I, I think so. Yeah, I think she has to be. Cause like she mentioned that she'd get in trouble for trying to sneak him- sneak Father Kevin in the crossbell. So I think that implies that she has something t to do over there and she can't just bring along Father Kevin as that will arouse suspicion. Welcome to Crossbow Cathedral. Adios will protect those who seek salvation with a devoted heart. May the goddess guide you all. Okay. Yo! When can we get Reese to the party? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, ooh, ooh, cookbook. Fresh sandwich. Hell yeah. Well, I'll be. If, er, well, I'll be. If it ain't boy. It's been too long. When'd you get back? Not too long ago. It's been a while, Quint. Do you know this man, Lloyd? We became friends earlier this year after a support request. That's right. Quint is an old friend and drinking buddy of my brothers. <clears throat> He's been good to me, too. We shared a drink together and told stories about a guy once their occult incident was resolved. That was a fun night, my boy. Well, at least as fun as it could have been. Oh, I can't uh, down him the way his brother could just yet. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. It was nice of you to invite us as well. Though Tia was a little pouty that she had to have juice since she, she's a minor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can imagine. I hope you don't mind Noel not imposing on you someday too. Not at all. If you're friends of Lords, then you're more than welcome. Usually, <clears throat> you can usually find me uh, out here tending to the graves. Feel free to drop by any time. Realize Guy Bannings. This grave is the one belonging to Guy Bannings, my brother who was killed in the line of duty three years ago. I heard stories about him. They say he was a remarkable detective, one of the best CPD ever had. Even among the Guardian Force, there are a few who've never heard of him. Wow, is that right? He and Arios were once partners in the same division led by Chief Sergei. Eventually they split up. Guy advanced to be or er, advanced to the first division and uh I heard or er, he and Detective Dudley were good rivals. Guy was the kind of person who liked to stick his nose into other people's business or er, into other people's business a lot. So he became pretty well known. <laughs> The more I hear of him, the more convinced that, or the more convinced I am that he was an amazing man. He was a detective that also faced crossbow barriers. 
He said the B word. Take another shot. <sighs> and with a relentless drive at that. Losing him in the line of duty was unimaginable. The culprit still, is still at large, right? It wasn't the cult's doing. Yeah, the case still is, uh, the case is still unresolved. But I swear, one day I'll grasp the truth with my own hand, own two hands. It may not be soon, but I promise. Wait until then, guy. There's also another grave here that had that was kind of faded out. That kind of hinted at another person, but I don't think we know for sure. Sia McLean. I recognize the surname on this grave. Arius McLean, the Divine Blade of Wind. He's never spoken to me about it, but I'm fairly certain that Sia McLean was his wife. If I remember correctly, she passed away in the horrible incident. The same one that Shizuka survived, but lost her eyesight in. Yeah. After that, Arius resigned from the police force and became a bracer. Ah, so that's how it happened. That's such a tragic story. Poor Shizuku and Arios. There is still hope though. I heard that Shizuku can still regain her sight. Right. I hope we can pay her a visit sometime soon. Oh my- or- oh! My apologies! I didn't notice you there. Also for my prayers, my late husband. Please forgive me. Let's not disturb her any further. We should go. Here lies... Hmm. Brave size well maintained. Hmm. I'm really curious because like... You know with how... Legend of Heroes, or you know how with Falcom loves to foreshadow things. That has to be someone relevant down the line. Ozma Seeker? Oh, right. Seeker? Isn't this? Yes, First Lieutenant Ozma Seeker. The father friend and I lost 10 years ago. Your father? Oh, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. I'm, uh, not the type to talk about these kind of things. Let's go, everyone. Dad would probably scold us for dawdling around like this. What do you know? Okay then, let's go. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, wait. <laughs> I really want to look at this guy. Did I pick up all the missable stuff? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, how did- wait, 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 how did I miss that? No, no fucking way. No fucking way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're telling me. There's another hidden set of stairs near the Long Lao uh, Tavern. Bullshit. This game has a lot of missiles. Yeah, I, I don't think I could do this blindly. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll do it as blind as I can, and once I feel like I'm gonna progress something major, I'll, I'll check back. The, look, how is there another set of stairs? Wait, how did I miss this? Oh! Wait, when I was in- Oh, that is- Wait, I- uh, uh. You son of a bitch! Mute. Why do Puck and Roos ha- uh, hate, uh, Zhang- or er, Zhang Kui's lectures? Because they're long and- uh, Oh my god. Dude, do you know how big it is to get mute this early? Okay, who do I give this to though? It 
Yeah, there we go. And also, apparently I missed something in downtown. Some way. Uh, how, how did I miss? Because, like, I thought I explored downtown already. Wait. Oh, hold on. I, I didn't read the part of the guy that tells you how to get there. There's just another thing there. Was it, was it with the same staircase as before? Get there. Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Is there a no? Okay, wait, huh? wait. How? How do I get there? Oh, is there another like Sneaky back entrance. Oh my god! Are you fucking serious? You can barely tell. Oh my god! <laughs> oh fuck the fuck you, Falco! Oh my god! I never would have found that. Give me that core ring. Yeah, that that goes that goes on, Lloyd. Oh my god. Uh God freaking damn it, dude. Okay. Is that all? When you're done. Okay, that that's the point where you're supposed to go to find Lecter. Wait, missable list? Okay, wait. Collectible, elegant mirror, the weird cushion, the bank. Wait, the comfort chair is a missable item? Oh my god, I gotta go back to the casino. <laughs> wait. Uh, Long Lao. You think, you know? Yeah, it's the one guide on Game Facts by... Was it? Uh, it's the one by... Zolius? Yeah, I'm trying to be careful not to look too deeply because uh, in case it might spoil certain things, but... Okay, Light Burger. Fresh Sandwich. Uh, I think the Bellyful Hot Pot is in here. No. No, a hotel suite room. No, 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 we, we did go there. It's just called by a different name in this guide. Okay. That's four. Mixed Gelato. Wait. General Store Floor 2? Wait, what? Wait. What do you mean? On the Floor 2 bookshelf? Oh wait, well no, no, this is the Times Department. This is the Times Department. I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Sorry. Bleh. Tally, tally, not times. I was like, did tally? I was like, wait. I was like, I forgot. There are two, there's technically two general stores here. So wait, 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 wait. Was there... Oh, I don't think I saw this one when I was looking around. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I think that's all the missables so far. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Wait. 
there, there's a hidden there's a hidden quest in the residential street. Oh my god, dude! There, there's I, I, I would have I would have missed this hidden quest already, dude. God, god damn it! What's that sound? Yahoo! This is the greatest. What are they doing? That's way too fast. They're clearly over the speed limit. I can't help but pity that poor car. It deserves better than that. That reminds me, there's been an increased number of fines for reckless driving in the city. It's a threat to the public, uh, to the public, and causes a lot of problems. Oh, you don't say. Well, and how is it the special support section's business? It puts the public at risk, so we obviously can't overlook it. If I remember correctly, Kate is control or patrolling the entertainment district today. I'm gonna try calling her Enigma. She don't know what to do. These kinds of incidents are typically handled by the Metropolitan Division, after all. Yes, this is Officer Kate of the Metropolitan Division. Uh, sorry to bother you, Kate. Oh, Lloyd, do you need something? Actually, there's something I'd like to report to you. Lloyd outlined the reckless driving incident they would just witness for Officer Kate. Oh, so you've seen it too. Well, since you're in the neighborhood, there's something I'd like to ask- uh, there's something I'd like your help with. Our help? If you have time, can you come see me? I'm in front of the hotel in the entertainment district. Sure, understood. Alright then, see you soon. What did Officer Kate have to say? She's requesting our help or something. The Metropolitan Division needs our help. Maybe she'll request us to stop that out-of-control car with brute force. Shut up, Wazzy. Anyway, let's head for the hotel in the entertainment district. Thank you for coming, SSS. Good to see you again, Kate. Do you want to help with the reckless driving case? I'm curious to hear more myself. Yes, allow me to explain. Recently there have been reports about an out-of-control car coming in from all over the city. The drivers seem to enjoy the thrill of the near misses with anything and everything. Pedestrians involved are included. Right, we just experienced that ourselves. I've heard about this. There have been a lot of complaints that they're... Er, they've been blaring their car home without reason. What a nuisance. Whoever they are, they certainly know how to get under everyone's skin. Yes, this is the problem that the Metropolitan Division wants solved ASAP. Therefore, I'm requesting the SSS's aid to in putting a stop to this reckless driver. Are you up to the task? Start your engines. Oh, of course, we'll do everything we can to help. <laughs> How can I say no? You've had my back since the, since my days at the police academy, Kate. Thanks, Lloyd. This is a huge help. Ahem. Let me explain by er, let me begin by telling you about the suspects. We aren't dealing with one driver, but a group. There are three young men from Calvard. They've been uh, there have been sightings of them all over the city. They began uh, by the park in the Harbor District and have spread throughout the entire state. They recently, began, they recently started driving through the Mains Mountain Path. They were driving recklessly on the highways too. That could impact the bus service if were to happen. You're right, but that gives me an idea. If their highway rather is shut down, it could provide an opportunity to catch them. That's a good point. If you guys use the patrol cars, you, you could have them surrounded, no, no problem. Unfortunately, I don't think that's an option. If we don't handle this carefully, they could break through our formation out of desperation. If it came to that, it could lead to a major accident. That's at least the last thing we want. I see what you mean. If that were to happen, the police would be held responsible. Exactly. That's why I requested your help. Your experience in the SSS could lead, uh, lead to us finding an unconventional solution. We, we need to devise a plan that will stop that car without endangering the citizens. Got it. I understand where you're coming from now. I think there are two essential components here. First is the method of how to stop the car. Second, the place where we can use that method without putting anyone in danger. I agree. If either of those are flawed, not only will we fail to capture them, we may do more harm than good. In that case, let's consider the first method. I can think of a few ways. Then again, you did say that you want one with the lowest odds of leading to a major accident. Of course, our first priority is to minimize the probability of involving civilians. Think of a method that can achieve that. Does anything come to mind? Aww. Lure to a dead end. What if we lure them to a dead end? If we did that, they'll have no other choice but to stop. I see, yeah, that could work. The next step will be to select the location. Unfortunately, I can't think of anywhere in the city that would be that su that would be suitable. We can't obviously use the new city hall site or the IBC building. You're right, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Don't be so un unimaginative. What if we try to make one ourselves? We could 
Uh, we can set up a barricade of those sandbags they use at construction sites. That's a great idea. If we use those, we can stop them whenever we wanted to. Or want to. Hey, not bad, Wazzy. You're welcome, by the way. Then the next step is to figure out where the uh, figure out the place to set this all up. Does the Metropolitan Division have the car's usual route fully or car's usual route fully mapped? Of course, we had to for everyone's safety. The car has been making regular laps around the city. First the Harbor District to the East Street, then Central Square to the back alley. And after that, the Entertainment District followed by the Administrative District, rinse and repeat. So Harbor, East, Central, Back, Entertainment, Admin. Okay, so then if I were to draw a circle. Yeah, so basically a circle wrapping around the top half of the city, something like that. We should be able to lower them into a dead end in any, in any six of the places. Let's pick a place with low foot traffic where we can set a trap with, with minimal risk of involving the public. Is there something like that along the car's route? Let me think. Uh, I might have to look at the guy, but let me make an educated guess. Entertainment has a lot of people walking through. Admin... Uh, when I look through there, I mean, it's just like the fruit stand and some of the officers and other city employees like around, but they're kind of few and far between. Harbor District has a lot of people wandering around, running uh, food stalls and everything. East Street is bustling with business and people on the streets. Central Square, well, it's kind of like the hub of Crossbell, so that's a no-go. Back Alley is way too cramped. Way too cramped with the Barkers and just other hostesses and stuff. Easy for someone to get hurt. Also, if we set a trap and they crash there, the back alley is so narrow it would just end up hitting the buildings and causing some bad property damage. And I don't think- and it'd be too tight to lower them into the front of the Revash building as well. Yeah, I think the safest thing is the admin- ad admin district. Uh, let me look that up just- just so I don't have to reload. Yep, second choice. I think the only place that matches those conditions is the administrative district. The admin- the administrative district, eh? That's where all the that's where the civic uh, civic center, library, and CPD headquarters are all are. True, but that uh, district does have a s uh, smaller amount of foot traffic than most, and there's enough open space to where even if an accident does occur, the damage will be kept to a minimum. It doesn't hurt that the headquarters is nearby either. I think it's a perfect spot. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely going to work. I knew I can count on the SSS. You guys drew that plan up like it was nothing. <laughs> I'm glad we could help. In a okay, in order to lure them in, we're gonna need several patrol cars at our disposal. You leave that part to me. I'll contact everyone in the division. Then we'll begin the operation immediately. I'll leave the construction of the barricade itself to you guys. You got it. We'll get it. We'll get right on it. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Since we're doing this, we may as well give it our all. Definitely, I won't let them get away with abusing that poor car. Man, spinning around a city this big is the best. Your driving skills uh, has really improved, hasn't it, Reggie? Uh. <laughs> that car! Th that girl just phased through the car! She just walked through the car because they didn't account for this cutscene! Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, uh, girl, you're just gonna walk right in. It's like, oh, oh, nah, she don't, she don't care. <laughs> you're damn right. It's easy to drive a car when it's, uh, this fat, or this fat, fun and fast, ain't it, Yuri? Hell yes, it's the Varen Company's latest model, so it better be. Hey, didn't you, didn't you, uh, almost run over some old fart on the highway, Reggie? Oh, come on, dude was coming right at me and I totally avoided him. Wait, did you see the look on his face? It was hilarious! It was the best! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> that don't, dumb old bass looks like he's about to piss himself. Don't kill me, I do save me. Something like that, yeah? <laughs> Cut it out, Sykes, or I'm gonna have to. Er, 
or I'm gonna, uh, or I'm going to piss myself. <laughs> well, we're gonna be here for a while, so we might as well have some fun, right? Crossbow City is our playground now. Ah, crap, looks like the cops are here. Jeez, Reggie! No worry, we'll leave these pigs in the dust. Oh man, gotta, sh you gotta love those sharp, basically 90 degree turns. Ha! Huh, an ambush! Hmm, they should know better. Can you shake them, Reggie? Obviously, they don't stand a chance. Ooh. We got just surrounded. Oh, shut up, you pigs. Shake them off, Reggie. No problem. What the hell? This wasn't here the last time. Tch, it's a trap. Check and me. Only one thing left to do. You're surrounded. Come on with your hands up. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, yeah, we surrender. Well, look at that. You incompetent coppers actually managed to actually do something right. Would you like to be charged with disorderly conduct too? Do you realize how much trouble you've caused or how many lives you put in danger? Yeah, yeah, keep your skirt on. You get too mad, you get crow's feet, old lady. Old? Three servings of disorderly conduct coming right up. Officer K, please calm down. Come on, hurry up and take us in already. You can't touch us anyway. What? Let's take him to headquarters for now, Kate. We can't leave this uh, street block uh, much longer anyway. Ah, I know. Okay, SSS, you help me drag these punks over to the headquarters. Browns are tasked with getting their car out of here. Yes, ma'am. Can you answer my questions? I'll be take taking an official statement. To start with, what are your names? John Doe. <laughs> John Smith. Hmm. Who says we have to tell you? Why you quit screwing? Quit screwing around already. He's enough, Franz. <laughs> yeah, or you get in trouble, loser. Typical. Can we get Dudley? They're getting out with just a fine. Unfortunately, we do have some form of traffic laws in place, of course. But since they're Calvardian, we can't just throw the throw the book at them. Today they're getting a fine and a warning, but they'll be, uh, but they'll probably be released immediately. I feared as much. Oh, you knew it'd end like this. Something like this happened once before. During the anniversary festival, we had a case involving counterfeit dealer. She was only given reprimand and expelled from from the state for a month. Oh, I remember that. Since Uncle has become the new mayor, there have been uh, more motions to revise state laws. Even so, those laws still have holes and more that needs to be impro improved. The fact that Crossbell and Law can't take a firm stance on punishing foreigners has been one of its fatal flaws for many years. Well, that's just great. I guess this, this was all a waste of time. No, it wasn't. Sure, this happened many times before, but that doesn't mean it was all in vain. I won't say this case was in vain, no. At least for today, the streets are a little bit safer. This is another barrier take a shot for Crossbell to overcome. Alright. Well, that's exactly why it's important that we never stop climbing. You're right. This is the kind of thing we can overcome as long as we don't give up. Then I guess it'll be up to me to keep us cool as we climb. Because the two of you are way too hot-blooded about this. Wazzy, way to ruin the moment. Was it too much? Anyway, can you handle things from here, Kate? Yes, of course. You were a lot of help today. If something like this comes up again, I'll be counting on you, SSS. I'll be looking forward to it. Could you sabotage your car while you're at it? I don't want to go home already. I ain't got time for these questions. Let's try this again. What is each of your current home addresses? Hmm, none of your business. Here's a hint. It's somewhere where a worthless pig like you couldn't afford on your crappy salary. How's that? 
Damn it! Hang in there, Franz. Hey, you're the one that set that barricade up, aren't you? Hmm, you got some nerve uh, showing up here. You should know your place. Ah, uh, fucking rich kids, dude. Holy shit. God damn, these guys are so snobby. Oh my god. Can we punch them? Please. Oh dear god. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, now, at least from what I'm glancing at the guy without revealing too much. We're now free to go to the West Crossbell Highway, thank god. Oh, wait, actually, I should actually report in for Mira. Whoops. Hey, discipline badge equipment. Okay, so what's this uh, discipline badge do? Five speed and prevents delay. Ooh. Ah, uh, I want to give that to Ellie. She could use the speed up. <laughs> 